One of the things that you'll want to do with the start screen is to, along with customizing it and moving the tiles around, I want to show you before I actually get into doing a whole lot of that, even though it may not be in that same order when you watch the course, you'll see a lot of times that people name these particular sections of tiles. So this one would have a name and then my administrative tools over here would have a name. And so how would I actually go about doing that? Well, you do it with a functionality that Microsoft calls Semantic Zoom. And with Semantic Zoom, we're going to like zoom out from the start screen and then work with these sections. Now, I've already talked about how I can very easily uh, customize my screen, right, by dragging this to another location, right, and I can very easily customize what's going on here, right? For example, I can bring uh, SkyDrive down if I would like. I can bring apps down. And so it's very easy. Whoops, I held on to that too long. It's very easy to customize these things. But with Semantic Zoom, we can add names here and even organize the groups themselves. Now, the way you get to Semantic Zoom is if you're on a touch interface, just pinch it and make it smaller, the same way you would do like to... Um, to make things smaller on any touch interface that you've ever used. Uh, with the mouse, if I just pull down and make this taskbar pop up, you'll notice there's a little minus sign on the right. Now, in Windows 7, you did the similar thing, and it made everything disappear temporarily so you could see the desktop. In Windows 8, notice I pull that down, and I come over here to the little minus sign and click on it, and the start bar zoomed out. Now, if I move over a section, notice it highlighted. If I left click, I can drag that section, right, and I can relocate where the entire section is. Or I can right click on that section and I can name this group, okay? And I'm just going to call this uh, Main Apps and um, click Name. And then I'll right click on this one and uh, I'll name this group uh, uh, Miscellaneous. All right, then I will right click this group and uh, come down here and click on name and I will call this uh, admin tools and then click name and now if I just click anywhere it comes right back and as I scroll to the left and right you can see that I see those things so it's very easy to name these and actually to move these around and again how do we do that it's called semantic zoom either pinch on a touch interface or come down here and grab this little minus sign right here, zoom it in, uh, reorganize if you would like, click somewhere and zoom out, and you'll notice that I just reorganized those. Now as we move through the course, you're going to see my screen change a lot because I'm trying to customize and change these things, and it may not exactly be in the same order that I recorded it. Don't let that throw you. Just pay close attention to what's happening to the functionality and you're going to like what you see in Windows 8. I know I've said that a lot, but trust me, you'll get used to this thing very, very quickly and you're going to like the way you can customize it.